What is goody gang, welcome to Ning News the ultimate news reporting channel for all things Genshin, and today I'm going to be talking about everything we can expect to see in the 5.0 update. Now before we submerge into the video, I want to remind you to join our Genshin Discord server which is climbing to 5000 members, so make sure to be there before we hit that milestone. So in case you guys didn't know, Genshin announced the livestream date super early when they usually announce it 2 days before the actual livestream. I am assuming they are doing this to increase hype for the game considering the 4.8 patch is honestly a very dry one. So the Genshin 5.0 livestream is going to take place on August 16th which is actually just 3 Fridays from the time of this video releasing. So obviously we can expect to see the new region Natlan and we should be getting a lot more details surrounding the environment and mechanics of the place. Speaking of mechanics, we should be able to turn into the creatures we saw in the trailer and actually move throughout Natlan with them. Another thing that you should be able to move quickly with are the new Natlan characters which are Mulani, Kinich, and Kachina. All of these characters should be in the Genshin 5.0 characters, where Mulani should be in the first phase along with Kazuha. In the second phase, this is where we should be able to see Kinich who runs alongside with Raiden Shogun which is exciting. However, Kachina is not known which phase she will release in, but it is almost certain that we do get her for free as she helps with exploring Natlan mechanics. Another thing we are said to get for free actually is a 4-star catalyst weapon, and this is pretty interesting if we get 2 free rewards in this patch, but the catalyst is said to be HP scaling. Now moving on to other new things we should get, we are said to get 2 new artifacts which both deal with something called Night Soul which is a Natlan character mechanic. Speaking of artifacts though, we are finally said to get a free artifact selector which can be obtained through the battle pass and through the Natlan offering place. This artifact selector basically lets you pick the artifact, main stat, and two substats for the artifact which is pretty interesting. Moving on to other unique rewards, we should also be getting 5 free Natlan weapons which can be forged and crafted, and I went into further detail in another video that you can check out. Now along with a new region we should be getting a harder world level 2 because we are said to now have world level 9. For context the max level you can have for the world is level 8 so this bumps it up, and it basically makes enemies drop more material and have higher HP and level. Along with this though Genshin dropped a bombshell of quality of life changes to the game which you can get the full details in this video, but some prominent ones are the ability to skip floor 9 and 10 in the abyss if you did floor 11 previously. Now moving on to the events in this patch, we will obviously get the usual combat event as always. As per the other events, we should get one using the Kamara which will help with getting familiar with the region, and one entitled Bomberman. These should give a decent amount of rewards, but the total expected rewards for this patch for F2P is around 121 pulls which is crazy. Imaginarium Theater also is getting a reset where the elements for this cycle are Pyro, Dendro, and Hydro, and they are also adding a new difficulty with 24 characters. Additionally, we should be getting new poses for the following characters which I will just display on the screen. Along with these rewards, we also have to keep in mind we have the anniversary rewards in this patch so this is going to either be controversial or go well. Now very lastly, we should obviously have the storyline continue with Acts 1 and 2 of Natlan for those who enjoy the story. So this is almost everything we can expect in version 5.0, let me know what you are most excited for in the comments below.